What's up, everyone? I hope you guys are doing great today. Michael here at BowlerStore.com inside at Moxie's Extra Pair, as you guys probably already know. But we're here filming some ball videos, and this ball video we have the one remix. We have a just a standard four and seven eighths pin up. We're at sixty, yeah, sixty by four and seven eighths, or four and three quarters by thirty-five. My normal normal layout on a especially on a ball that's highly highly anticipated as the one remix is this ball was a fan favorite for so long you know there's been so many ones um, over the years and I'm glad they finally brought brought the ones back because I never got to throw them whenever whenever they were out initially so I'm excited to throw this one we're at like a 246 RG uh, 056 diff and 0.027 intermediate diff so we're looking at a pretty big core here the cover stock is a gp14 solid i believe um but it comes a little shiny maybe it's a compound but it looks a little shiny out of the box so enough of the stats on the ball let's go let's go see how she rolls all right evan knight the one remix like i said i've never thrown a one i've not throwing any shots with this. I'm already loose. I'm not real sure what to expect. So we're just going to do the norm here. Hey, nothing wrong with a nice little nose diver right off the bat. Kind of expected that. I haven't really seen a ball that uh, doesn't do that on this house shot here. Move about five left. That shot wasn't horrible. It wasn't great. I kind of came around the side of it. But I still think that might be a little too far right. I've seen a couple videos from other people and it seems to uh, hook a little bit down lane. Alright. Another move. Ah. Bad balance, good result. Sometimes that happens. Motion seemed okay. That was a good shot. Huh. Okay. I really like that shot. I did see the friction and want to come off of it pretty sharp. I thought that was 10 back to be quite honest with you. Let's move another three left. Three and two. That was better. All right, we're getting closer. That one's to come off a spot pretty, pretty good. It's not like a, you know, it's not like a, a pearl where it wants to just shoot off of it. With it being a solid, it wants to roll off of it, but. It still comes off the spot pretty sharp. I was like, if that's not 10 back, I'm restarting this video. I'm just kidding. But I would have turned the camera off. Because that was way too good not to strike. Now we're finally getting into it here. Got another shot right in the same zone. Get out of here, nine head. Come on. Give me those hits, son.
All right, now I'm starting to see the bush. Now I'm starting to see why people really liked this ball back in the day. We have another three boards, three or four. I like it. I like it. Keep moving. If it's going to keep coming off of it, I'm going to keep moving. That was left. That was horrible. It's all right. The motion seems good, though. It seems like it's going to be one of those balls. It's going to be able to... It's going to be able to be used on a lot of different stuff. I even wanted to roll that one more to see if it would still come off of it. But like I said, it's not like it's... It wants to see it. Like, it wants to see the friction come off of it. But it doesn't want to make an extremely sharp motion to where I feel like it's going to be uncontrollable. Like, this is a very controllable motion, in my opinion. It wants to hook down lane, but it's still controllable. See if we can't keep it in a little bit further in the oil. Yeah, that was, I mean... It was obviously a little bit further left than what I wanted, but it still wanted to push. Still hit the pocket, still 9 10. Another shot just like that here. Yeah, okay. That was a shot that I just dead rolled it up the back of it. And you could see it from the reaction. It just hooked and rolled out. But that's what I would expect it to do. This ball, I feel like, is... This ball is something that... If you want this ball to do something, it's going to do it. I feel like it's going to be extremely versatile. So this one, I'm going to move a little bit left. Turn my hand in. See if it comes off of it. Yeah. I mean, this ball does what you tell it to do. And that's what I feel. Whoops. Like, you want me to dead roll it up the back of it? It does it. You want me to come around the side of it and shape it off the spot a little bit? It does it as well. I think it's one of them... It's going to be one of those balls that... Like I said, you can use on a lot of different stuff. And you're going to know, you know what, it's, what the motion is supposed to be. Same shot here. Yeah, I, I mean, this is one of those motions that it's like a, let's say it's like a step up from like a Game Breaker 4. You know, the Game Breaker 4, the cover stock came a little bit more dull. So it may have hooked a little bit earlier. But motion-wise, this is close. This actually might be a little quicker off of it than what the Game Breaker 4 is. Game Breaker 4 solid. Yeah. And the way that it goes through the fence. Like I said, it's not super snappy off of it. But it wants to hook and then go. Hook and go forward. 
not forward, but it hooks at the right spot. One last shot here. Yeah, I even got that one a little bit further right to the friction. And I wanted to come off of it just nicely. And that was the one remix by Ebonite. Like I said throughout the video, this is going to be one of those balls that is going to be able to be thrown on a lot of different stuff. And you're going to know what this motion is doing. It's a ball that's going to do what you tell it to do. Like it's not going to be... It's not going to be unpredictable. And what your hand is doing is pretty much what this ball is going to be doing. Other than that, I pretty much said all I needed to say towards the end of the video there. Um, so I'm not going to take up any more of your guys' time. If you guys would, like and subscribe. Uh, comment on the video. Let me know what you think of it. Ideas, um, concerns, you know, anything. So uh, we read them all. We appreciate, appreciate the support. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.